So this month is Qigong month on Nima's channel, and we're gonna do some Shun Shen Tao Qigong techniques and exercises. And we're gonna talk a little bit about it so you kind of understand more of what Qigong is. There's a really broad spectrum of things that Qigong can be applied to, but Qigong essentially is the controlling of the energetic body through the breath and through movement. And usually the movement is very slow movement. Uh, Qigong is, is an extremely subtle science, and I would say it would be kind of like the original quantum physics. Everything in the Qigong world uh, on the higher levels is all about the tiniest movement getting you like this big, tremendous result. And so the best that we can do when we start learning Qigong is to try to imitate or mimic the, the, the postures and the movements of the masters that teach it. And of course they help with correction, but I'm not gonna be able to help you with correction through the video. So I'm gonna show you some techniques for building Qi and strengthening the energetic body. Some of our most powerful techniques that we use all the time to build up Qi that's so hot that we can affect the body in a tremendous way. And so not only will this help you with your energetic healing, but it will also help you maintain your own body's chi so you're not depleting yourself. And so to be a professional Qigong practitioner, you must practice your exercises virtually every day. And depending upon how many students or clients that you're working on, you may need to practice it every day uh, for quite some time. Our Qigong cuts down a lot on the amount of time that you have to spend uh, doing it. For example, traditional Qigong, you might have to do somewhere between two to even eight hours a day to be considered a real Qigong practitioner. But that's a lot of time. Uh, our Qigong in Chun Shen Tao is very concentrated, it's very refined and to the point. So it doesn't require a large amount of your day. In fact, if you spend anywhere between five to 30 minutes a day uh, doing our Qigong, that's a, that's, a, you know, that's a good amount to quite a bit of amount of Qigong. If you're wanting to get your Qi like ridiculously powered up, you know, somewhere in the area of 30 minutes a day uh, to an hour a day would be kind of where you want to be at. And you could even probably do as much as two hours a day once you build up to it. But Qigong can be depleting. It can be strenuous. And I know you're probably thinking, well, how can standing and breathing or even sitting and breathing be strenuous? And it's because you're working a different set of muscles, metaphorically speaking, than, than you normally are working. So we don't want to overwork ourselves either doing Qigong. It's not a race, it's not uh, some kind of competition. It's a matter of learning to relax, learning to breathe, learning to pull energies into the body, learning how to cultivate or percolate that energy, and then learning how to refine that energy and emit it from the body. And that's Qigong in a nutshell. So there can be tremendous positive benefits to Qigong, but if Qigong is not done correctly, there can also be problems that you can cause for yourself or other people. So the techniques that I teach in Shun Shen Tao are all completely safe. I don't teach anything that is dangerous or that you could hurt yourself with. Or if there are any type of precautions, I always uh, let you know what those are up front because I want you to have a healthy, strong, positive Qigong experience. And so, this month we're gonna do several videos, not exactly sure how many, but I hope you get a chance to watch them all and I hope you all get better, stronger, so you can help more people.